Hi everyone. Today we're going to study addition and subtraction of rational expressions with a common denominator. Let us have the formal definition of adding and subtracting rational expressions with a common denominator. If P, Q, and R are polynomials where r is not equal to 0, then the rational expression p over r plus q over r, take note, the denominators are common. And this is equal to the sum of p and q, the numerators, all over the common denominator R. Also, when we have P over R minus Q over R, this is equal to the numerator P minus Q all over the common denominator R. Let us have some examples. Example 1, add the rational expressions. The first rational expression, 8x plus 15, all over x plus 5. Plus the second, x squared over x plus 5. We can see that our denominators are common, so we can add the numerators. So we have now 8x plus 15 plus the second numerator x squared all over the common denominator x plus 5. Let us arrange our numerator in descending order of powers. It means our x squared comes first followed by the 8x and then plus 15. In the denominator, it will be just the x plus 5. Let us factor out the numerator and the denominator completely. The numerator can be factored out into x plus 5 times x plus 3. The denominator is already simplified, so we'll just copy it down here. And then we can see that the x plus 5 is common to numerator and denominator that we can cancel it out. So when we do that, only x plus 3 remains. So this is our final answer. Let's have example 2. Subtract the rational expressions. The first rational expression is 3m squared all over 6m minus 30 minus the second 21m minus 30 all over 6m minus 30. Again, our denominators are common. So we can proceed with our operation in the numerators. So I copy the 3m squared here and then minus the second numerator 21m minus 30. Take note that we should put this into a parenthesis. All over the 6m minus 30 we copy down here. And then we are going to simplify by removing the grouping symbol. And if we do that, we should change the sign of all the terms inside this grouping symbol. So you see here the 21m is positive. When we remove the grouping symbol, it becomes negative 21m. The negative 30 becomes positive 30. And from here, we are going to factor the numerator and denominator completely. In the numerator, there is a GCF of 3. 
I will pull out the number 3 to each term of the trinomial. So it becomes 3 is now outside. For the first term, what remains is the m square. For this second term, it becomes negative 7m. For the third term, it becomes 10. In the denominator, there is a common factor of 6. We will pull it out. So the 6m here becomes m. And the negative 30 becomes negative 5. But the trinomial m squared minus 7m plus 10 can still be factored out. So we will factor it again into m minus 5 times m minus 2. We just copy the number 3 down here. In the denominator, the 6, we split it into 2 times 3. And then the m minus 5 is copied here. We will now proceed to cancel some common factors in the numerator and denominator. The number 3 can be cancelled out with the number 3 down here. Also, the binomial m-5 is common with the m-5 in the denominator. After the cancellation, we will now collect the remaining factors. In the numerator, only m minus 2 remains, so we will copy that over. In the denominator, the number 2 is left, so we copy it here. So, one question now is, can we cancel this number 2 and the number 2 in the denominator? There is a note that you cannot remove a term from a sum. It means we cannot cancel that because the number 2 in the numerator is part of the sum. So the m minus 2 over 2 is our final answer. Let us have example 3. We have here two rational expressions. The first is a squared plus 3a all over a squared minus 9, and then minus the second rational expression, 3a minus 27 over 9 minus a squared. We can see here that denominators are different. In fact, they are opposite of one another. Look at the a squared here. It is positive. There is an a square on the other denominator, but negative. On the other hand, the negative 9 constant in the first denominator, there is a corresponding 9 also in the second denominator, but positive. In this case, what we will do, we are going to factor out a negative sign in the second denominator. So what happened is, it becomes like this. I copy the first rational expression and then the minus sign along with the numerator. But in the denominator here, it becomes minus of this binomial a square minus 9. Let us check if our factoring is correct. If I apply this negative sign inside the grouping symbol, the sign of the terms will be changed. So look at the a square times this negative sign. I will come back to my negative a square here. The negative times the negative 9, I will get back my positive 9. So I'm sure that the factoring here is correct. And I also observe that the a square minus 9 here is now the same with our denominator of the first rational expression. The next thing is the negative sign here 
and the subtraction operation will affect the operation and it becomes positive. So now I have new rational expressions to be added and the denominators are common. I can now apply the addition of the numerators and copy the common denominator. So I have here now the first numerator a square plus 3a plus the 3a minus 27 all over the common denominator a square minus 9. This 3a plus 3a can be simplified into 6a. And from here, factor the numerator and denominator completely. The numerator becomes a minus 3 times a plus 9. The denominator, the factors now are a minus 3 and a plus 3. And then we can now cancel the common factors in the numerator and denominator and that is the a minus 3. After the cancellation, we will now collect the remaining factors. So a plus 9 all over a plus 3. The next question is, can we cancel the a and the a? Also, can we cancel the 9 with the 3? The answer is, we cannot remove a term from a sum. The a and the 9 here are part of the sum along with the a plus the 3 in the denominator. They are grouped together as a sum. So we cannot cancel that. So this is our final answer. Hi everyone, today we're going to study addition and subtraction of rational expressions with unlike denominators. Let us see the steps how to add or subtract rational expressions with unlike denominators. Step 1. Find the least common denominator or the LCD. Step 2. Rewrite each rational expression as an equivalent rational expressions using the LCD. Step 3. Add or subtract the rational expressions. Step 4. Simplify if possible. Let us have example 1. Add the rational expressions. The first one is 1 over 12a cubed b squared plus the second is 5 over 9a squared b cubed. Let us have the step 1 to find the least common denominator. First, we are going to collect all the denominators in here and then we are going to factor out for the numbers we are going to put the prime factors and for the variables we will just list them as it is so the 12a cubed b square this is equal to for the 12 it is now 2 square times 3 times the a cube times the b square. For 9a square b cube, it is now factored into 3 square times a square times b cube. By the way, we are putting the common factors in one column. You see here, 
we put the factors of the same base in a column. Next, we are going to bring down all factors. For numbers or variables of same base, copy that with highest power. Let's begin with the 2 square. There is no 2 factor in the second denominator, so we just copy the 2 square. For the 3, we have here 3 with exponent 1 and 3 with exponent 2. We will copy the 3 square. For the base A, we copied here the A cube because 3 is the highest. For the base B, the B cube we copy down here because the number 3 is the highest. So this is now our LCD. We'll just take the simplified form. The 2 square is 4 times 3 square is 9. So 4 times 9 equals 36. And then we copy the A cube and the B cube. So the next step is to rewrite each rational expression as an equivalent rational expressions using the LCD. For the first denominator, I am going to multiply this by a value so that it will be equal to the LCD. The 12 here, I should multiply by 3 so that later I will get the number 36. For A cube, it is also A cube in the LCD, so there is no issue for the A. For the B, here it is squared, so I need to multiply this by B, so that later I will get a B cube to be the same with the LCD. So it means the first denominator I should multiply by 3B. So this 3B should be copied in the numerator so that the first rational expression is to be multiplied by 3B over 3B. And this is a fraction equal to 1. For the second rational expression, also, we want our denominator to be equal to our LCD. So this 9, I should multiply by 4 to be equal to 36. The A square, our LCD here is A cube. I should multiply by A. For the B cube, it is also B cube in the LCD. So there is no issue for the B cube. It means to say, I need to multiply the denominator by 4a so that it will be equal to the LCD. And this 4a, I should copy in the numerator. So our rational expression will be multiplied to 4a over 4a. And this fraction here is equal to 1. It will not change the value of our fraction. On the next step is I will now multiply the corresponding fractions. In the first group 1 times 3b is 3b. If I multiply the first denominator by 3b it is now equal to the LCD. And then plus 5 times 4a is 20a all over this denominator multiplied by 4a is now equal to our LCD. Now we can go to our step 3 to add the rational expressions. We have now two rational expressions here with common denominator. It means I can simply add the numerators. So 3b plus 20a is now here in the numerator all over the common denominator which is the LCD 36 a cube b cube 
And this is our final answer. Let us have example 2. Subtract the rational expressions 4 over x squared minus 6x plus 5 minus another rational expression 3 over the trinomial x squared minus 7x plus 10. Obviously, we have a different denominators here. We will follow the step 1 to find the least common denominator. We copied the denominators here and we will put now the factors. The x squared minus 6x plus 5 is factored out into x minus 5 times x minus 1. The x squared minus 7x plus 10 is equal to x minus 5 times x minus 2. Let us rearrange our factors so that the common factor will be in a column. And then, we're going to bring down all the factors. For any common factor, copy it one time only. So for the LCD, look at the x minus 5. It is a common factor for both the denominators. So I will copy it one time only. And then the x minus 1, I copied here. Also the x minus 2 is now here. So the LCD is just to put these three binomials together. We have now our LCD. We will go to our step 2 to rewrite each rational expression as an equivalent rational expression using the LCD. Take note, we should keep the LCD in factored form. Let's go back to our problem here. First, let us rewrite the denominators as factors. So this one becomes 4 over the factors x minus 5 times x minus 1, then minus this trinomial, the factors are x minus 5 times x minus 2. Of course, the numerator 3 is copied here. For our first rational expression, the denominator is here. We want to convert this into the same value with the LCD. So you see here, we have two binomials here, while our LCD has three binomials. We should multiply this denominator by x minus 2. And this, the same x minus 2 should be copied on top so that this value or this fraction will be equal to 1. So it means our first rational expression is to be multiplied by x minus 2 over x minus 2. And then minus the second rational expression is copied here. Again, our denominator is here that we want to convert into LCD. So we have two binomials here. While our LCD has three binomials, we are going to multiply the denominator by x minus 1. And this x minus 1 should be copied as the numerator here. So the second rational expression is now multiplied into x minus 1 over x minus 1. And then, we will now multiply the corresponding fractions. So 4 times the x minus 2, we'll just put them together. In the denominator, it is now equal to the LCD. And then minus the 3 times the binomial x minus 1, we put them together. And then in the denominator, it is now equal to our LCD. And then simplifying, it is now 4x minus 8 in the first 
numerator. In the second numerator, it's now 3x minus 3. Let us have the step 3 to subtract the rational expressions. We have now here two rational expressions with common denominators. So we can now operate in our numerators, put them together. So 4x minus 8 is here, and then minus the second numerator, the 3x minus 3. There is a note that we should always put this into a grouping symbol. Because later, we are going to remove the grouping symbol, and we need to change the sign of all the terms inside this grouping symbol. So we have now here negative 3x and then positive 3. Let us now combine the 4x and this negative 3x becomes x. This negative 8 and positive 3 is now combined into negative 5. Step 4, we can simplify if possible. I observe we have here x minus 5 in the numerator. We have also x minus 5 in the denominator. We can cancel it. And then we will collect the remaining terms. In the numerator, it's 1 all over. There will be two binomials in our denominator, the x minus 1 times x minus 2. And this is our final answer. Let us go to example 3. Simplify these three rational expressions. Let's have the step 1 to find the LCD. Let us list all the denominators in here. And then let us factor 1 by 1. For the u minus 1, it is already in simplified form. So we'll just copy it here. For the u, also it is already simplified. So we'll just write it again. The u squared minus u, there is a common factor of u. So we pull it out. And what remains in the first term is u. What remains in the second term is negative 1. We wrote the common factors in a vertical column. And then we're going to bring down all factors. For any common factor, we will copy it one time only. So you see here the u is common. We will copy it one time. Also the binomial u minus 1 is common in the first and the third denominators. But we will copy it only once. So this is our LCD. We will go now to step 2. We write each rational expression as an equivalent rational expression using the LCD. So let us keep the LCD in factored form. Going to our problem here, let us rewrite it first in such a way that the denominators are in factored form. Our first rational expression, the denominator is u minus 1. It is already simplified. There is no change. Also for the second rational expression, the u is simplified. There is no change. For the third rational expression, the denominator is u squared minus u. We will now put the factored form u times the binomial u minus 1. And then, for each rational expression, we will now to multiply by a term so that it will be equal to the LCD. Look at our first denominator u minus 1. I should multiply it by u to be equal to the LCD. So this is u, and that same variable u will be copied up here. So our first rational expression is to be multiplied 
by u over u. And then plus, going to our second rational expression, the 1 over u. So this variable u, I should multiply by a binomial u minus 1 to be equal to our LCD. And this u minus 1, I should copy in the numerator. So the second rational expression is multiplied by u minus 1 over u minus 1. And then minus the third rational expression, since our denominator here is already equal to the LCD, we will not multiply anything. So let us now multiply the corresponding factors in our first group here, the 2u times u will be 2u square. The denominator now becomes equal to LCD. For our second group, 1 is multiplied by u minus 1. Same u minus 1 will come. And the denominator becomes the LCD. And then minus, we will just copy the third rational expression. We can now go to step 3 to add or subtract the rational expressions. We have now here three rational expressions of common denominator. So I can now combine the numerators. Look at the 2u square. I copy it here and then plus the numerator u minus 1 is now copied here and then minus the third numerator is now here. And then all over the common denominator which is the LCD. Let us now simplify our numerator by removing the grouping symbol. So if we do that, in the second numerator, we can directly delete the grouping symbol because it is preceded by a positive sign. Because it is preceded by a negative sign, I should change the sign of all the terms inside the grouping symbol. So this 2u should become negative later, and then this negative 1 will become positive later. So it's now here. 2u square plus u minus 1, and then minus 2u plus 1. And then we just copy the LCD here. Next, let us combine like terms in the numerator. 2u square is here, positive u and then negative 2u. It is equal to negative u. The negative 1 and positive 1 cancels each other. So this is now our simplified 2u square minus u in the numerator. In step 4, let us simplify if possible. In the numerator, I observe that there is a common factor, and that is u, that we can pull out. And you see the u, it is common to the numerator and denominator that we can cancel. So after the cancellation, we will just collect the remaining terms. So this is now equal to 2u minus 1 all over u minus 1. So the next question is, can we still simplify by cancelling the u and the u? Can we cancel also the negative 1? and the negative 1 in the numerator and denominator. There is a note that we cannot remove a term from a sum. It means the 2u minus 1 here is taken as one group. The u minus 1 in the denominator is also taken as one group. So it means this is now our final answer. I hope you learned something from this video. See you again next time.